because I wanted her to like take a moment to just kind of take it in. She doesn't have a reason to get upset. You know, there's going to be people talking and noises and she hears them all here. But then off campus, it's like a totally different story. And if it was just super easy for me to just do what I wanted to do today, it would have been done. But it's not. It's taken little baby steps for four years. And that's what I do. You can hear people. You can hear people, Mama. I think just the more she sees things, you know, if we were at a farm where there was kids and dogs running around all the time and I had to bring her into a, a stables and there was just a lot, of, if, if it was like a busy stable, she'd just get used to it. But we're, we're not at a place that's like that where she would come in and get groomed inside. She just, everything happens here. So her only her only adventures are walking out of here really so she's she's chew, chewing furiously oh i gotta get my hay furiously because that was a scary moment in my life and the more adventures she has i think it's good for her stimulation mentally you know to get out and do these walks i would love to be able to ride her and, and do these atop her I would love to be able to do these atop her and not have to take him because it is very hard to hold two horses, but I feel like I could never do that without him. So he's very integral to the to the training aspect of, you know, taking him along. And she has a calm horse that she can look to to go, well, this horse is calm. The only problem, like I said, is that usually he's calm if she's calm. And she's been, like, hiding her fears a lot. And now they're coming out more. She's just hitting her threshold sooner. So I feel like I might have to do more stuff in here with her. But now that it's getting cold out, that is harder to do because cold season... It's, you know, they're very athletic and wound up in the cold, so. And I'm not going to push it any further. Like, I see what's happening with her. You know, I see that taking her out of her comfort zone does kind of upset her. But then she sees that everything's okay and she gets back home safely and she's okay and she is hard to control though. I wore gloves today in case she tried to pull away. She kind of did, but then she thought about it and then I was like, no. And I didn't get, I didn't accelerate. I didn't want to accelerate and be upset. I just wanted to be calm. Plus I'm not as afraid when I walk her like yes I get nervous but I'm not as like I used to be terrified to walk her I've, I'm being completely honest with you guys like when I first got her I was terrified to walk her I didn't know her she didn't know me I was taking her somewhere else she was walking on two feet we, we went into the barn the very first day I ever walked her out of her pasture which was really hard she was like peeing all over walking on two feet her pasture mates were whinnying at her she was crying back to try to handle her was very difficult I had the four foot Clinton Anderson stick and string with the knotted lead rope and I just took charge you know I just moved her feet and made her feel safe and then we walked into the barn her eyes didn't adjust she kicked the barn door as loud as she could with her back foot then she reared straight up, and the, <laughs> the owner was looking at me like, yep, that's, that's our girl. <laughs> that's why three trainers couldn't train her. And all I was thinking was, you know, I she came into my life for a reason, and, you know, I'm going to be the one that gets through to her. And I have. I have gotten through to her.
I have gotten through to her. That doesn't mean she still isn't powerful and she still doesn't have a mind of her own. She does. So the auto feeder has been having some issues with the grain sticking to the sides on the inside. And I don't know if all of his food is not coming out properly. So I set the run times for longer. I took the thing out that was like every day I come and sweep this clean. And then this wire should be down here a little bit more. So when he touches it, he thinks this is hot. I think he's been licking it because it or dripping. He's been drooling all over it. It's just When I fill the water up tomorrow, I will actually dump some water on here and scrub it clean again. Winter's going to be tough, I think. Do you want to come over here and try eating your food? I'll kick some out for you and we can just see how it's working. like your salt mama like I like my salt but I like my green better Ugh, I can't I to put this on my head barns are so big that when you walk horses you're walking just as far as I walk just from their paddock to the horse place I've been to stables like that I worked at a stable like that where you had to walk the horses out get her poppy <laughs> get her pops I get to see how this works today. So it runs for five seconds. And we'll see how much food he got. It should be empty. Like I'm coming today, it should be empty. It's not crazy. At least it has a scoop of food in there. fine okay. so yeah there looks like there's enough food in there I don't know what's going on though because the run times are long it should be feeding him more there shouldn't be that much left in there is what I'm saying that's what's kind of bugging me because when I checked it in the beginning I could see it was coming out plentiful and it was great but then the battery died and it was still leaving stuff on the side, so I switched that thing out because I thought it would work better this way, and it does. The only thing is, is like I said, this lid doesn't fit good. You have to really squish it to get it. Alright, I'm not going to fill it anymore enough for till tomorrow. Yeah, you're a good boy. <sighs> she wants to get in on that action. Yeah, you guys had a nice little outing today. Let's go see how much hay they have left. Probably gonna have to bring up a bale of hay. Mm. 
Oh, because I can see the light shining through and the porta grazer looks full still. So I can hear a lot of chainsaw noises down there. We need to drag my pasture, which means that all these stakes we're gonna have to get out of the way. So he, I notice he likes to eat over the side. He stands here and he eats the hay from here and on the other side. And then he pushes her away. That makes him feel good. He's like, that's my hay. So, but she eats it too, cause it's gone. And then he just pulls his hay, hay out. <sighs> well, it's the weekend, so I think what I'm gonna do See, there's still so much hay. There's still so much hay left. See, it's we're a busy barn. People are here all the time letting their horses run free on the hayfield. They need interaction. So I'm just going to let them hang out today. Everything I did is like portable, movable. I forget what the special word for that is. They're messing with the blind horse down there. Marlene's the one that had the blind horse and then her Husband's horse has the one that just had his penis surgically removed. Alright, they have plenty of hay. I don't have to give them more hay. I'm going to come back later tonight. I'm going to feed them grain right now. Lock her out of here because I don't want her eating his hay. Yeah, she's coming back. No, you're not. You're not coming back in here to eat his hay. Hooked. You're so pretty. She's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> you are. You're so pretty. Yeah. So today's the Sabbath, and I really don't feel like saddling up and riding. I'm tired. <sighs> I've been working on that dress that I want to wear for my. I let movies pick my wardrobe, and since I don't sew very well, it's probably not going to look that great, <laughs> but whatever. They can enrich each other today. I'm going to get his muzzle ready for his food and get her food ready, so and they'll get more water tomorrow. And I dump and wash that out. It is cold out today. It's probably in the 40s, but I mean, the sun is out, so it feels good. The sun is always out. It's just that those monsters are constantly trying to block it. <sighs> and he's liking his food. She's eating whatever's left over there, too. Alright, so I'm going to over and out it. This is a very long video and we didn't really do anything. 32 minutes of nothing. But you know what? My intentions were to do something and then once we get going, I can't push through it. Because she's hot-blooded and it's really difficult to just proceed forward when I see her getting more and more riled up. She's doing really good. I mean, we couldn't even walk down the road before. And I can walk her alone now if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that today. So, over and out the mirror.